More to the game, we're here to give you an episode today talking about how to map your career. So this is for all my overseas basketball players, professional hoopers out there, and we're talking about the big picture and how to plan it out so you can get to the level, get the job, get to the country that you're trying to get to. First thing I would say is to come into your rookie season and set a goal. Whether the goal is to win a championship, be on an all-imports team, uh, lead your team in assists or rebounds, uh, win an award of any type, like just set a goal, like just have something to focus on because all of this is going to be really new to you and you just need to have something that you're aiming for because you don't really know what you don't know yet. That goal can also be as simple as you want to just have as much fun as you possibly can your first year or learn as much as you possibly can your first year. Now, after you've learned what the business is like a little bit that first year, reassess your goals, reassess what you think about the whole professional basketball landscape, overseas basketball because once you get into it, you get to see what it's really like. So if you thought that you was going to do this for 10, 15 years, you might need to reassess how long you want to play. If you thought you wanted to try to make it to the EuroLeague, you might want to reassess to see if you think you really can make it there. Whatever that rookie season does to you and shows you, just go look at it, think about it, compartmentalize, reassess, and see what you learned. And when you get everything together that you learn, we're going to go and we're going to make new goals. But we can't set those new goals until you come to the determination what you want out of your career. After a year in the business, you can sort of get a feel of how you want to do this thing. I feel like it's three ways you can approach your career. You can be A, the guy that wants to get to the highest level possible, see how good they can be, excel, excel, jump, jump, you know. Get the most out of your career. B, you can be the guy that just want to make the most money possible. You just want to use it as a job, set yourself up for the future, just make as much money as possible. I don't care if it's a good league, bad league. You just want to make as much bread as possible each year. Or three, you want to be the guy that just want to have the most fun. You don't care about how much you're getting paid. Obviously, you want to get paid, but the focus is playing in good countries, nice living, fun atmospheres, good teammates and fans. You just want to have the most fun possible because at the end of the day, you only get to do this once. But you also can mix all of those things together and try to get the best of both worlds each year. Try to find somewhere where you can make some money, have fun, and be playing at a good level. Usually, you're going to have to sacrifice one or two of those things. To get all of those things, that's when you get to the top, top levels where you got everything. You got the money, you got the level, you got a good living environment, good living situation, everything you need. Now, if your goal is to get to the highest level possible, you have to familiarize yourself with the European basketball landscape. You need to know the top leagues, you need to know the feeder leagues, meaning the leagues that can help you get from that league into the league you want to be into. Uh, you need to know the styles of play in these different leagues, the import rules. Uh, the expected pay, uh, referee styles. You need to be familiarize yourself so you know based on your play style where you want to be. And that's where that rookie year helps you out a lot. You can sort of see what's required in Europe. You can sort of see where you fit in and where you can see yourself getting to. So you want to try to figure out what type of player you want to be. You could be a guy that want to be a knockdown shooter, try to shoot 40, 45% every season. You can be this guy that's going to be this straight perimeter lockdown defender or this rim protector or this lob threat. Like, you can sort of see your game. You know your game, and you just see how it can fit in the European landscape. And then that can show you which leagues, which coaches and teams can really propel your game and help you master that role. And once you can sort of see that vision, that light in the tunnel of the guy you could be for a top-level team, then you got to develop into it. you got to really focus in and harness those skills. Every summer, add something to your bag that is in that mold. As a pro basketball player, overseas is on you to shape your game. You don't have any college coaches that you're stuck to that's trying to make you play a certain way each year. If you sign a one-year contract, two-year contract, you get a chance to mold yourself into the player that you want to be. So when you show up in a preseason, you have the skill set that you want and not trying to be put into a box that a coach wants. And once you know what type of player you want to be, what type of role you want to have, you got to double down on that and take jobs that will allow you to be that. If there's a team that's looking for uh, a pick and pop five man and you're a, a, a lob threat and you post up and you don't really shoot the ball at all, 
then don't go over there and take that job. You know, it's not what you, you're good at, vice versa. Like whatever that lead coach team requires, that's what they're gonna get out of you. If they think you can do something a little bit, they'll force you to do it a lot just because that's what they need in their system. So understand what type of system you're going into. Now, if you're someone that is going for the money, then you gotta do your research, do your due diligence, find out what leads pay, pay the most money. Uh, obviously, you're probably gonna try to work up to getting more and more money, but there's situations where you can just be this all world scorer and play at lower level leagues and get paid a, a, a pretty decent amount of money compared to what you might have to take if you're trying to grind your way up to a, a higher level, you know? So if you really focus on the money, understand what leads give you the, the good money up front, you know? That's all you gotta do research on. And if you're someone that's in it for the fun, you wanna travel the world, see all these great countries, play in these nice environments, do your research, ask players how it was playing for their team or ask how it was playing in their league. Do your Googles, research the country, the living style, the cost of living, all that stuff. Like research, research, research. But now I gave you all the information, it's up to you how you're gonna use it, how you're gonna shape your career, map it out, reassess each season. Your goals and what you want for yourself will change. What I wanted for myself going into year two is different from what I want for myself going into year five now. And it's very important to always be open to change because as you get older, your development to this young adult maturing, what you want in life will change. So that same person that wanted to play till 40 might not want to do that anymore. So always be open to reassessing your goal and situation.